Okay, so I am figuring out uh, some stuff about the uh, chi-square. So it says right on the null hypothesis. So null hypothesis is, uh, what do we got here? A type of fish purchased is in our right, hand, sorry, and uh, vendor of customer is independent. independent. All right, now I also notice I don't have the totals. I need to get totals on here. Put my calculator up. Is that showing me everything? Yeah. So 57 plus 65 plus 67 plus 34. So 223 along that top row. And then 45 plus 48 plus 52, whoops. 48 plus 52 plus 25 plus 45. So 170, which should give me 393 bread cran total. So 223 plus 170. Okay, so let's do the columns here. So 57 plus 45 is 102. And then 65 plus 48, 113. 67 plus 52 is 119. And 34 plus 25 is 59. Let's add those up and make sure it's 293. So 102 plus 113 plus 119 plus 59, 393. Okay, so I should be good there. So it says find the expected number of females to purchase goldfish. So that's this box right here, which is row total, 170. Uh, let's write this off to the side here. Let's see, 170 times 119 divided by 393. So 170 times 119 divided by 393 is 170.3. Uh, what meter is that? 170.3. Uh, so mostly three significant figures. So it, the problem is I can't get three. I'm either going to get two because 170 has two, or I'm going to get three or sorry, four with 170.3. Um, I would put this down right here, 170.3. So then it says we got to do our P, our find our P value. So we need to go to our calculator and put in our matrices. So let's get that set up. So second matrix, we're going to matrix A, edit. Uh, it's two by one, two, three, four. So two by four. So 57, 65, 67. 34, and then 45, 48, 52, 25. So there's uh, the observed frequencies. And then I go to matrix B. It's two by four also. So, oh, sorry about that. 223 times 102 divided by 393. Uh, 223. Oh, I'm, no, I'm doing this okay. I'm okay. 223 uh, times 113 divided by 393. 223 times 119 divided by 393. 223 times 59 divided by 393. 170 times 102 divided by 393. 170 times 113. Oops. Times 113. 170 times 113 divided by 393. 170 times 119 divided by 393. And 170 times 59 divided by 393. So there's my um, expected frequency. I'll drag and drop it over there. So I have it. Stat, test, go up to C. That's not the right one. Stat, test, go up to C. 
We're going to calculate that, drag and drop it over there. So I have a tiny, minuscule uh, chi-squared value, which means that this is going to be definitely independent. So there's my value. So it says, uh, use graphics director, key value. So key value for the key is 0.993, which is a significant figure. And then it says uh, to make a, uh, is it independent or not? So 0 0.993 is greater than 0 0.05, 0 0.05, which is a significant level. So accept the null hypothesis, which means uh, gender of customer and type of fish purchased. And it's very, very independent because that is a chi squared value that is almost zero, indicating that there's very little change between um, what you would expect and what you got observed.